create some text using the artistic text tool or maybe some frame text as well. Once you've got that, what you need to do is go up to a layer and then down to new live filter layer and distort and perspective. So with that, you can see this bounding box applied. To make it easy, there's actually a useful show grid and it is useful because now you can't manipulate the grid. So unfortunately, you can't change it. However, you can use the grid so you can see now, just try and get that aligned along those buildings. You can just do that. And you of course can move it along so it goes along the road. You can see position exactly in the way that you want. And I just want it like that. Just nicely, all the grids exactly on there and maybe manipulate it. Now, sometimes this has a tendency to vanish. It will try and, I don't know, it's weird. However, click close and you've got your design there. You look at it again, you think, you know what? No, it's not right. Go to the layers panel, just go over here, perspective, and you can double click. And again, bring this up and again, show grid. I'm not certain why it doesn't stay on show grid. It would be nice if that was a property as well. But however, you can manipulate it further and you say, you know what, I think that's probably not as aligned as it could be. Maybe just move that like that. And you can tweak it. And again, close that. And if you want to, you can always edit the text. I would suggest probably deselect that and then you can edit it because you might have made a spelling mistake. I haven't, but you could make a spelling and just edit it just using the text tool again. Just manipulate it and you can see again, you've got your design there. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.